happy new vlog, y'all. All right, I just came in from a baby shower. Let me show you what I wore. So I have on, oh, you can't really, I don't think y'all can really see it, but I got this dress that I got from Urban Outfitters last year. This jacket, which is kind of like an asymmetrical neckline, like you can kind of do like that, or you could wear it like this, you can wear it off the shoulder. I got this from the Frankie shop, maybe two or three years ago. These shoes, these Fendi Colibri, probably the most comfy heels I have ever worn in life. Zara earrings, uh, Valley sunglasses via Elegant Eyes Inc. Black owned optrician, opt not optrician, optician. <laughs> <laughs> Out of jurors. Yes, I just came back from a baby shower. One of my friends, I'm sure you've seen her on a vlog before. My friend Simone, she's having a baby. Oh, and I just came back from the shower. I would have brought y'all with me, but I wasn't quite sure of how, oh, my feet, of how I wanted to, um, <laughs> I'm saying out my feet after I just said that the shoes were so comfortable. I was gonna say. Yeah, I wasn't sure if I wanted to take you guys with me because um, I was trying to think of how I wanted to start the vlog and I kind of wanted to remember to start it with the weekly goals and then we go into the things and I didn't, I didn't have my weekly goals like in my head because as you can see from here, <laughs> I was filming right before I left and literally as a matter of fact, I had this dress on to um, show like the difference between ankle boots, over the knee boots and uh, calf boots, you know, when you're styling them and whatnot. And I was like, oh, I might as well wear this dress. So on the agenda for this week is to find more like easy, let me throw this on real quick, fall dresses that don't require any kind of ironing. You know, that's, that's key. Uh, my other goal for this week, which I hope I will have time for it. Let me look at my, I gotta look at my calendar and see where I gotta be this week. My other goal is, I gotta clear out this room because I got family coming to town. Now really and truly, I should be like, go stay by your Nana. <laughs> but um, ugh, they wanna stay here, so. You know, what can I do? Now, this is one of them things where I was like, I, we gotta find a way that we could talk in code because my mama be watching my vlog sometimes. But my mama be driving me crazy. Like, I love my mama. Lord knows I do. But my mama be driving, not just me crazy, but oh, now I ain't gonna go into the details because like I said, that lady be watching my vlogs and I don't want her to be upset with me um, again. <laughs> so I'm gonna just, Keep it a hundred. But I think if you have a boomer parent, particularly a boomer parent that is Caribbean, <laughs> um, I, I don't think I have to explain anything to you. <laughs> I think you already know. Not Cat William in the bed. <laughs> Snuggled up like he paid the bills. But I ain't even gonna lie to you. Cat William's always be in the damn bed. And you know what be pissing me off? Like, I would freshly wash this sheet, right? Now, my cleaning lady comes every other week. So, on the week when she's not here, you know, obviously the sheets get clean and I put them on the bed. No, uh, um, <laughs> they don't look as nice as when she does it. But when she does it, before I even get a chance to be in my nicely made up bed with like the hospital corners and all of the, all of that niceness, that little Negro <laughs> be all up in my stuff. Oh, Lord, you know, to be a pet parent is to be, be non-selfish, non-selfish, is to be selfless and sharing and whatnot. Okay, also for this week, I need to come up with more low carb meals. I like, the low carb meals that I've come across on the Atkins site, but low carb kind of, the, the, well Atkins I should say, kind of depends on dairy. You know, me and dairy don't see eye to eye. So I would also like to find a protein bar. I don't know if this is an anomaly that is low in sugar and doesn't contain dairy because the Atkins bars will be low in sugar, low in carb, but then they had that milk in there. <clears throat> and I thought, I was like, oh, you know what? Maybe I can get away with it. But the other day I made roti with ghee. And I was like, why don't you little ghee in my roti ain't gonna bother me. Ciao. My stomach was like, bah, 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 bah. so anyway, 
<laughs> I want to find some more nice low carb recipes that include snacks and desserts and all that kind of stuff so that, you know, I'm good to go because I like, I like a low carb diet because when it's, when you, hold on, let me change my clothes. I feel so much better. Whew. Oh, let me tell y'all that waffle blanket is in here somewhere. Sorry, I'm interrupting the prince from his, <laughs> <laughs> He's laying down. He he looked a little perturbed that ugh, I was trying to lift up the, the sheets while he laying on them. That waffle blanket is nice, especially when combined with the other sheets. I get my sheets from Brooklinen. I learned about them. How did I learn about Brooklinen? I think from watching Nick Lewis. Do you guys watch Nick Lewis? White guy. I think he's, is he Canadian? But he does home decor content. And he's just a joy to watch. But yeah, I think I heard about Nick uh, Brooklyn in through him. And I like their sheets. So those are the sheets that I have on my bed. The, the flat sheet, the fitted sheet, the pillowcases, the duvet. Is the duvet from Brooklyn in? I think the duvet's from Brooklyn and I can't be sure. Or maybe it's from LL Bean. I don't know. Look at my boots. I just bought these. I think I should, did I show these to y'all before? Let me do this in the light so y'all can see them. These are shoots. I mean, they got a little kitten heel, but people be making fun of kitten heels. And uh, that's fine. You ain't gotta wear them. I wear them. <laughs> now, I, I think like a kitten heel on a boot like this looks kind of cool, but I do be seeing where people come from when they be dissing kitten heels. Cause I, I don't think I can wear like a kitten heel pump, but to each their own, you know? <sighs> All right, uh, what, else, what else do I need to do this week? Oh, I need to make my, what you call it, my plans for my Halloween party. Like what games are we gonna be playing? I need to finalize my little decorations and whatnot, what food I'm gonna have. I think I'm probably just gonna um, get food from the places I normally get food from. Some chicken from New York Fried, mac and cheese and candy yams from New York. No, not New York. Rochdale Chicken and Fish and just have it catered. Cause I'm just basically trying to put my costume on <laughs> and just show up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be Storm. So I got the clothing part of my costume ready. I just need to figure out my hair. I bought some wigs, but I'm like, eh, I could do better. And plus, I don't know, I like, I like ha any hairstyle where my face is like, you know where the hair's kind of like pulled back off my face, you know? Um, <laughs> so I think I'm probably just gonna do my hair like this. I'm gonna buy a ponytail, a cheap drawstring, pony drawstring ponytail off of Amazon and spray paint it white and then spray paint my hair white with, you know, temporary white hair color and then I'll be storm. But yeah, I think those are the goals for the week. I think also last week's goal, which you guys didn't get to see, was to try to get to the gym on time, which I did all four days. And I think I'll be on time for the gym this week too, cause I just kind of switched around what I would do in the morning. And I realized what was making me late is that I would eat breakfast. It's not so much that I would eat breakfast, but it was that I would have to use the bathroom after I eat breakfast and you know, after after that, I want to bathe and, you know, go be on my way. And that would kind of make me late. So now what I do is I eat a protein bar and then just well, as soon as I get up, shower, get dressed, get the protein bar and then be on out, be on about my business. And that has been getting me to the gym one time. So I just kind of want to be more, I want to be more on a schedule. I don't want to feel so like frazzled. Uh, I don't want to feel like I'm being rushed. I just want to, you know, like... I wanna, I wanna feel calm, cool, and collected, you know? Let me see what I got on the calendar this week. Hopefully I don't have to be nowhere. I really don't like being any place. All right, tomorrow, don't need to be nowhere, except for the gym. Oh, I have an event Tuesday, and I definitely need to go because it's with Dr. Michelle. I definitely wanna support. Wednesday, oh, I got, st <laughs> I got stuff. Wednesday, there's a black and fashion console event. I definitely wanna go to that. Thursday, I gotta go to the dentist. Oh, and boy, do I have to go to the dentist because a little piece of my dental work broke off. Dang, I got somewhere to go like every day. And then Friday, I'm supposed to be going dancing with my friend Vanessa. And then Saturday, Yasmin has a showcase and she wants me to do her makeup. So she's gonna come here, I'll do her makeup. And then we're going over to the showcase. I'm very excited to see her because I didn't, I missed her showcase last year because the ticket sold out too fast and she ain't tell me that, uh, you know, about the tickets. She told me about the tickets too late. By the time she told me about the tickets, they had already sold out. I was like, girl, 
we gotta support. So this year I was on it. All right, so I broke a piece of my crown. <laughs> I gotta chew on this side. Now, I already had an, a dental appointment, my regular checkup for Thursday. So I'm gonna try to just wait till then because I gotta find a new dentist. My, I love my dentist, but so does everybody else. <laughs> so it'll be crowded as hell up in there. So he must be very careful and true. I'm also hoping that having to fix this doesn't set off me having to go to the orthodontist and get a remolding of my um, retainer. It probably is. <laughs> but thankfully, the um, orthodontist has a thing where they'll fix it anytime you need a new, you know, upgrade or whatever. Made it to the gym on time. All right, I'm about to make me some, well, I was about to make me some Atkins buffalo wings, but who the hell? It's a garlic powder. This is like a first. And I was going to place an order with Target and have them deliver it. You know, by the time, you know, I get done. I mean, I had some garlic powder. Like by the time I get done, like maybe I can make another batch of wings, you know, with the rest of the garlic powder so that I ain't got to, you know, keep cooking. But I think I only had like two minutes to add to my cart before it flipped over to the delivery being tomorrow. And I missed my window. <laughs> I probably should have just checked out with what I had and then just kept adding things before they assigned a shopper. So now I'm off to go get garlic powder. But then I was like, you know what? Might as well get some onion powder too. And I wanted to make uh, this pumpkin cheesecake, this low carb pumpkin cheesecake that I saw because I got to start looking at well, I think for Thanksgiving, I'm not doing anything. I, I think for Thanksgiving, actually, let me scratch that because I was like, I need to start practicing desserts. Why are you running away? I need to start practicing, ow, making desserts for Thanksgiving, but I'm not doing any dairy-free or low carb or anything. Like Thanksgiving is going to be Thanksgiving. So I'm just practicing that, <laughs> that uh, it's a pumpkin pecan cheesecake with, well, of course I'm going to get the, the, the non-dairy alternatives and i hope it's really tasty because sometimes i want like a little you know and if i can make something non-dairy and you know lower carb like i have a little treat so be it and i also want to make some more cookies but now that i'm forcing myself to go to the grocery store let me see if i need any more things to make the cookies all right i'm just gonna walk to the grocery store because i don't like driving at night and then this time of year it gets dark so early like that's not for me <laughs> so I'm just gonna walk. You know what's so funny? I was just getting ready to say that like, I freaking love that I live in New York City because I can't imagine living someplace else. And I can't imagine living someplace else where like the stores would be closed now. <laughs> I mean, it's only eight o'clock, but still. Like a lot of places like where my sister lives, you gotta get in the car to go to the corner store. <laughs> Because <laughs> the, the corner store is about two miles up the road. <laughs> Whereas, you know, here in New York, you just walk the grocery stores right there. Uh, but which is also very funny and something I would like to, you know, give a little tidbit of my little two cents. Where's my wallet? Oh, you know what? It's probably still in my purse, which means I went to the gym today. No wallet, no driver license, which is why. Yep, that's exactly what I did. Which is exactly why I have a picture of my driver's license in my phone, just in case. But anyway, when I first started this vlog channel, I did some, I started it when I moved into this apartment. So I started with like an apartment tour and this and then the third talking about like, you know, what the rent is, blah, 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 blah. I got so many comments from people who didn't know me, uh, basically telling me that I'm a fool for wasting money on rent and that I should move and this and the third. And I, I would reply to some of them like, cause somebody said you need, you need to move to, I forget where they said, but it was some like random city on either the West coast or like in middle America. And so I replied like, yes, I'm going to uproot all my family and friends, my career, everything that I know that is here in New York and move all the way across the country because a stranger on the internet told me <laughs> to do so. <laughs> Yo, but people will really try to judge you for renting. And it's like, yo. There we go. We we all don't want the same things. And like I feel like people forget that when you buy a house, like, and you you know if you're not fortunate enough to, you know, buy it outright and you have to get a mortgage, you, you know the interest on that mortgage, right? 
<laughs> like, did, did, like, I'm not against either one, but it's like, you know, do you boo? But, but it's just so funny how people who will not know your situation will be thinking about a market that we had probably like 30, 40 years ago. <laughs> like, you know, when our parents were our, were our age and you just calling me a dummy for doing some mess. You don't even know that. And now see, the thing is I could have felt bad about that. I mean, I don't and I didn't, <laughs> but I love this. Like, I don't know what, like this is like giving, it's kind of giving dad vibes, <laughs> but I love it. I got this from uh, JCPenney like a year or two ago and from the tool section, I think it's St. John's Bay. Yeah, St. John's Bay. Like, I love this. This is like some old intellectual ass sweater shit. But anyway, like I could have let that make me feel bad, but like, <laughs> these people, wait, dude, this is like, like, y'all y'all don't, they don't know me. And they don't know the situation. And that just goes to say that don't let people make you feel bad about your situation, regardless of whatever that situation is, because as long as you are happy, and you crunch the, the numbers and it makes sense to you, that's all that matters. Don't let, don't let people try to embarrass you or ridicule you out of your situation or about your situation. Anyway, I'm going because it's dark outside and I'm gonna walk. I'm gonna leave you guys here and I'm just gonna go. See, like, see ya. Yo, it's crazy how much the difference is in price from the grocery store and like Target sometimes. And you know, I shop both places because it's also good to support the local economy. Well, I don't even know how much of a local economy that is because it's still a corporation. But they wanted $3 and change for one can of pumpkin and that mess expires in December, 2024. I tried to uh, you know, grappling my way through the cans to, to see if I could find one that was, um, last a little longer, but to no avail. As a matter of fact, I found one that expires October, 2024. I was like, oh Lord. But anyway, so I just bought one can because I only need one can for the recipe. Now I like to keep like a can or two of canned pumpkin in the cupboard. I'm like, it's a dollar and change at Target. So I just add it to my Target shopping cart and get it there, like, cause what is you charging me $3 for, for a can of pumpkin? Libby. I don't even think the Libby's pumpkin is $3 at Target. Cause I can get the Good and Gather brand is, it's $1.59 each. And then I saved 16 cents cause I have um, a Target debit card. <laughs> but let me see if it's the same. I can't believe we over here. Yeah, it's the same price at, um, at Target, $2.99. Listen, I will take, look, I do not mind a generic brand. <laughs> oh my God, who here is old enough to remember when the generic brands used to come in them black and white containers? <laughs> that baby hungry. Yo, I don't know if y'all saw that. <laughs> Can't we just be cracking me up? I swear that's so human. But when I feed him, he doesn't do this all the time, but sometimes I guess like, you know, he remembers. <laughs> but I'll feed him and then he'll rub his head on my arm like as a way of to like thank me for feeding him. <laughs> It'd be so funny and so sweet. Oh Lord. But what's not funny and sweet is when his little ass finds that I'm walking past his bowl and it's empty and I ain't put nothing in it when he starts to bite at my ankles. Now that's not funny or cute, Cat Williams. Why did I decide to make a pumpkin pie cheesecake? I'm so sleepy, but I can't go to sleep because it's in the oven. <laughs> like, and if you're wondering what the hell I have on, these are some red light devices from Iris Store. You know, they also make um, devices that you can put on for um, hair loss. I did a campaign with them over on the skincare channel. So I'm just here trying to get in where I fit in. Um, it's in the video where the thumbnail I have, you know, and it very aged me and then me as like a teenager or a kid or whatever. But it's like the same picture, but I used face, was it face tone or face app? I think it was face app to age me and then to age me in the other direction. So here I am. I feel like it makes me look and sound like Darth Vader. <laughs> but 
we are getting some skin benefit oh my god i'm so tired oh lord and i got more that pumpkin cheesecake about to last me like three weeks <laughs> oh lord but it is an atkins one and I'm not trying, like I keep saying Atkins, but that's because I've been on their website looking at their recipes, but I wouldn't say that I'm like doing Atkins. I would say that I'm trying to watch my carbs and my sugar. You know, we, we know how sugar does. Sugar be, sugar, sugar be, you know, it, like it's good, but then it's bad. You know, it's like too too much of anything is not, oh, um, typically not good. But I realized that my ass needed to chill with the sugar, especially being over 40, because, you know, as the estrogen and, whatnot decline it's harder for the body to regulate a lot what was that noise it's harder for the body to regulate a lot of systems you know like as you're going into peri and menopause oh i know it's that noise <laughs> it's the thing rubbing against the thing anyway so i was like i need to get a hold on this sugar before i wind up oh i didn't realize i can do that i was like oh my god my nose itches and i can't get to it but there's a little slit here that i can get to my nose Anyway, um, so I'm not, you know, I'm trying to be fit and fly after 40 and 50 because I want to be fit and fly after 40 and 50. Like, anyway. Okay, we are off. I don't even know if you could see this outfit. Like, it's probably one of these outfits that's cuter in <laughs> person with what the camera's given. But I am off to an event. Let me try it again. <laughs> this dress is so cute, but it's so poorly made. I'm gonna have to see if somebody with um, better quality clothing has something similar. I got this one from Fashion Nova. All right, that was super cute, but I am super hungry. So I'm head back. Contemplating like, am I gonna be able to make it all the way home? Hungry in this Uber ride, cause it's looking like it's gonna take 40 minutes to get home. I should be all right. Lord. I just tried on this jacket that I got from Anthropology. I don't know what it's given in this camera, but when I looked at it in a mirror, it looked good. And it looks, I feel like it's giving more cherry red in the lighting here. Uh, when it's actually more of like a burgundy red. I don't know, but I like this. I bought this from Anthro. I like it. Oh, I don't know what happened to the light. <laughs> I like anthropology. I think I like this, this jacket. It is kind of like, like I just read the reviews and they said it's kind of sticky and it was kind of sticky, but I think that's like something that, um, <laughs> because it was uh, folded down in the box. It's flinch. Yeah, that's a little, I don't know, I like this. These are one of those coats that I will wind up having for a long time. Oh, let me show you the other coat that I talked to you about in the last vlog. I love this. Now, the, I feel like this would look so cute with something that kinda, I mean, I got all my house clothes, so, but I love this. I feel like this is gonna be one of those coats where it's like, first of all, I love a coat, I love a jacket. And many, 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 many of my faves I have had for five years or more. And these two, I feel like are definitely gonna be coats that I will have and wear for five years or more. And then there's another one that I bought. The only thing I have to say, the only thing I don't like about anthropology, whoa. <laughs> The only thing I don't like about anthropology is that it takes too long to browse their site. Too long. Like, I feel like they need the kind of algorithm that TikTok and YouTube have, where they have, you know, based on my past purchases and return history and whatnot, where they are able to suggest items that I would like, because I can't be going through 10 pages, because not everything on anthropology hits. Some of this stuff be given like, they don't be given. And I gotta be weeding through that to find some cute stuff. A lot of times I wind up giving up and then down the line, I'll see somebody with some fly ass shit from anthropology. And it's because maybe they were patient enough to keep scrolling. This is very interesting. I don't know if you could see the texture on it. Let's see what it's given. I don't think you guys are gonna get a good 
be able to really see it, this in this lighting because I'm already wearing dark colored house clothing. Let me try to sound in the mirror. Okay, now I like this, but I do wish that it opened up like a moto jacket. I think that would have been way more interesting. Like that would have been way more interesting. But as it is here, I feel like that is not that interesting. And then the sleeves is kind of, the sleeves are giving short. <laughs> Something like this, maybe I would get like a pair of like mesh arm warmers. I don't know why I said it like that. And so that, you know, it could, but I don't, I don't love this. Like it's cute, but I don't love it. And I don't keep things that I don't love. Like I, the other ones I felt more like, let me tell you what mango, freaking mango did to me. I, for years, I have been on the hunt for the perfect moto jacket, cropped moto jacket. Like it, it needs to be slightly oversized, but still kind of fitted. And the sleeves, and that's that's the thing that usually kills me with the moto jacket. Who's texting me? That's the thing that be killing me with a lot of jackets. Like I, I gotta be giving up a lot of jackets cause the sleeves just be giving young. And so anyway, so I see this beautiful, genuine leather jacket at Mango. Beautiful. Well, at least it looks beautiful in the pictures. So I order it, it says, you know, it would get delivery time is estimated seven to 10 days. No problem. At the time when I ordered it, it was cold, but now, you know, it's 80 degrees, but you know, but no problem. I, I, I can wait because if this coat hits, this is another coat that I'm gonna have five, 10, 15, maybe even more years. Do you wanna know them motherfuckers? <laughs> Canceled my order because the coat is not in stock. Why? Count your days, Mango. Count your mother f days, Mango. From here, I feel like you can see the, you know, the jacket better and how it needs. Like, it's so boring. Like, it's such an interesting jacket because of the uh, texture, but this is such a boring clo- uh, uh, how do you call this? This is boring. This needs to be like a moto, you know? The pockets are kind of cool because, well, you can't see them, but the pockets are like doing something really cool. Like they're, they're oversized pockets. Do they actually work? Oh, they actually work. But this is not the kind of pocket you want to put anything important in because it's kind of slanted and you, you know, your stuff will fall out. But this is kind of boring. mad that I forgot this food in the fridge from last night. I put it in there. So it was supposed to be just temporarily um, because Cat Williams kept trying to eat my food. Yeah, damn cat kept trying to eat my food. So I was like, let me put this in the, in the microwave to protect it. And then I went to sleep and forgot it in there. I remembered when I was on my way driving to the gym this morning. Anywho, I just got some temporary white hair color spray that I'm hoping is gonna be great for my um, storm costume. Oh, I just realized Yasmin got me some contacts from the beauty supply store. I have never put contacts in. <laughs> and they might only go in for photos. So she got me these white contacts for my costume. So, did I tell y'all I'm going at Storm? I don't think I showed y'all my little Storm dress. I got a couple of options. Oh, hold on. All right, so I don't even think I hung it up. I need to hang this dress up. All right, so option one, which I think is what I'm probably gonna wind up wearing because it's so cute and short. So I have this. Doesn't this not look like such a superhero kind of thing? And it's got shorts built into it. So, you know, I ain't gonna be showing my lao lao. Then I have this option. Isn't that cute? And then I bought this cape. So whichever option I choose, I have my cape. I do need to make sure that I have like gold accessories so that I can kind of have, I'm pretty sure I have stuff here that I could use, but um, I think I want to get like, I gotta see if Storm even has those. Cause I, I sometimes I conflate <laughs> things with other things. So I'm like, I wanted like those thick bracelets, like those armband kind of things. And I'm like, ain't that Wonder Woman? <laughs> so I don't even really know if that was Storm or not. Anyway, all of this stuff is from, he get there so fast. <laughs> Anyway, all of this stuff is from Fashion Nova. Fashion Nova be coming through with, with my little party themes and whatnot. And, and then, you know, in this case for Halloween, I ain't mad at little Fashion Nova. And then not all of this stuff is like that bad quality. I don't even know why I'm over here taking up a Fashion Nova. Ignore me. <laughs> Ignore me. But yeah, I'm so excited. I bought wigs 
to, to do the whole storm thing, but I'm, I don't wanna wear no damn wig. So I'm just gonna do my hair, probably in my normal ponytail, and then just spray paint my hair white. I also bought a white hair paste thing. I was like, let me try and see what works. And thankfully, I have another ponytail other than my normal ponytail where I can um, spray paint that without worrying to, well, the, the hairspray is temporary anyway. It's not good, it shouldn't do much to it. And if it does leave like a little something, something, something in it, it might be kind of cute too. <laughs> I don't know, today doesn't feel like Thursday. It feels like Monday times five. <laughs> like I'm trying my best to like, you know, just move around and get what I need to get done, done. But I am dragging. <sighs> I feel better having stretched, but I still feel very like, you know, like, wake up, Danielle. <sighs> All right, so I need to grab some food and then I need to make sure that I get all of the food from all the crevices <laughs> between my teeth so that the dentist don't be like, oh, <laughs> oh, and I need to season this chicken. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm being so dramatic, but Lord have mercy. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. And I can't wait till Ara get here on Saturday cause this place needs a, a nice, it needs her touch. Like I do like the little cleans in between and keeping shit tidy, but it needs her touch. The touch, the feel of Ara. I was getting ready to tell y'all something, but what the heck is it? Oh, I don't remember. Oh, this is not what I wanted to tell you, but I'm gonna tell you about something else. But let me put my wings in the um, air fryer. All right, so I'm so excited. So here is three things that I'm about to do. Oh, no, Bobby Flay cookware. Oh, I don't need none, no cookware. Three things that I'm about to make for this Halloween party that I'm very excited about. So one, I'm gonna do this. <laughs> Is that not cute? Like little potion shots. I thankfully already have edible glitter from a birthday cake, but mine is silver and I might use bamboo as the shots. So I'm gonna I'm gonna play around with it because I might do tequila, like a clear tequila or maybe a gold tequila and see how it looks with the the um silver edible glitter. But I definitely ordered little like potion things from Amazon to put that in. So that's one. Then two, I'm going to make Hold on. This looks so freaking gross. <laughs> but these are Rice Krispie treats with like um, food coloring and raspberry on it. I don't know that I would do, not raspberry. I don't think she put raspberry, uh, raspberry jam in hers. I think she put chocolate syrup to make the red food coloring darker. I'm not gonna do that because then when I once I add chocolate to this, I can't eat it because <laughs> then it's dairy in there. Um, and then I'm gonna do these, these little they're vanilla wafers with um. Now this one uses raspberry jam, but I'm probably just gonna use a little red icing, little cookie icing because. I don't wanna buy a container of jam. I don't really use jam like that just for this. And you need the tiniest itty bitty little bit. And then I'm also going to make some vampire donuts. So I got some edible things from Target. I also, mmm, <laughs> that smells good. Um, and, oh, wait, oh. <laughs> <laughs> My bad, y'all. I also got some candy eyeballs. I wonder what I would use to stick these with. Stick them on the thing with. I guess maybe use a dot of icing to attach. Okay, so I'll use a dot of icing to attach this. And so I have black icing to make like little, you know, the little Widow's PK style. And red icing, again, to put the little blood on the mouth. And then I'm gonna make a, oh, I wanted to go to the store and see what kind of punch bowls they have. I might have to do that after I come back from the dentist. And then I have these, which are gonna go into a big punch bowl that I also need to buy some dry ice. I did that last year. Let me see if I can show you last year's thing. It was so cool, but I didn't like the years. Okay. I didn't like how the um, old photos. 
See, I wound up having to use that, and I think somebody brought that because what I wanted to use didn't work. So I'm just gonna get, and I'm so mad that I did that punch bowl broke because I would have loved to have used it again this year. So I gotta go buy a new punch bowl and a ladle, ladle. and then um, I'm gonna get a bigger clear thing so that I can have the um, dry ice. I don't know why this isn't playing. I guess it's in, oh, there we go. It was in the cloud. Isn't that cool? Like, I love that. And these are super easy things that I can make for the donuts. I'm not, you know, I ain't going, I'm just gonna buy a box of um, glazed donuts. Rice Krispie treats take one, two, three to make. Um, and I also bought like the uh, the tray things so that I can make like the, the meat stuff. And then I even bought um, sticker paper for the printer so that I can make labels to put on it. Do I have saran wrap? I should have saran wrap somewhere in here. I need to check my storage bin to see if I have, I should have more black plates. Black plastic, I have these good sturdy black plastic plate, plates. And I, I got them in a smaller size because, let me say something about <laughs> people at parties. I feel that, okay, so one, I stopped buying like the big bottles of, not the big, big bottles of water. I think it's like a 12 ounce bottle of water. And so instead I get the little eight ounce ones because people will take one sip of water, put it down, walk away, not remember which one is their water, and then all of that water is wasted. So I just get the little eight ounce ones so that hopefully people could just drink it in one sitting. And if they want more water, obviously you come back and get more water, but don't be wasting my 12 ounce water. And even with the little eight ounce ones, I'm still having to throw away half half drip, half um, half um empty bottles or quarter empty bottles of, of water, but I would rather waste that than, you know, the 12 ounce. Then with the plates, I always have more than enough food. Like, as a matter of fact, people always go home with food, but don't waste the food. So like I got smaller plates so that, you know, it's not as easy for people to pile food on their plates and then be like, oh, you know what? I really don't want this. Let me throw this in the garbage. You, you know what I mean? So instead, smaller plates. And if you want more, just keep going back and get more. That's all. And I'm pretty sure I'll still have more than enough food where people will wind up taking stuff home. But that's just me because I'm always, like one of my biggest fears is having a party and running out of food. <laughs> I be mean, like, oh my God, I cannot run out of food because like, uh... <laughs> I hope the dentist does not have me in the office all day because after the dentist, I want to come back home, get dressed, film some videos. Oh my God, uh, Hyper, whoosh, Hyper Skin launched a sunscreen, right? And I almost forgot about it because when they sent it to me, it was under embargo, basically meaning we're sending this to you early because you're press, but you know, keep it on the, on the DL until we say so, right? So I done forgot that I had it, but I was like, ooh, I saw it on their Instagram. I was like, oh shoot, let me try that. Because um, I know the the creator of the brand, Desiree. And I was like, you know, I like to, you know, shout out people's, especially when they have amazing products. So I go to try the sunscreen. Yo, I have to check to see if it has um, iron oxides in it because it does have like a little tint to it, but it's a, a chemical slash organic sunscreen. And I don't think it would be something that would that I would love in the summer. It's like perfect for like right now and then like going into winter. But when I tell you the glow, I mean, my skin glows, but the extra glow that this sunscreen gave me without it looking greasy was amazing. And if it has iron oxides in it, that's also great for additional uh, protection from visible light which, you know, if you're somebody with hyperpigmentation, you would appreciate that. You know, we talk about stuff like this all up on my skincare channel. So, you know, check that out. But, um, so I want to film a video. Sorry, I'm putting like, my password into the computer so I can get in. I want to do a video on that. Then after I put that on, I'm gonna do my makeup and film this skincare video that I'm reacting to somebody's um, really nice um, winter dry skin routine. So I'm gonna you know, film that today. Then when I'm done with that, I'm hoping to be able to go to Target and film some short videos with like trying, like hopefully there's like cute stuff in Target so I can like put some outfits together real quick because I want to beef up my short form fashion content for both YouTube shorts as well as Instagram, like I have an, another page, it's Danielle Gray, that's supposed to be just for fashion. So yeah, that's on the agenda for today. And I try my best to just squeeze out when I have my hair and makeup done to get as much filming as possible because I'm like, I don't have to do my hair and makeup like every day, every time I want to film something. Like, let me just do it once and then I could just film, like film, 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 film. 
Then I'm also excited because I'm I'm doing a photo shoot. I think we said Monday or did we say Tuesday? I think we said Tuesday. I'm not I think we said Tuesday. And I'm excited because I haven't taken outfit pictures, like professional outfit pictures in a while, aside from that one outfit picture that I took in LA. But I'm excited because I'm like, I think that's what I want to do with Instagram content. I just keep going back and forth with like this Instagram stuff. And to be honest, it's not even really my fault. It's like I be putting stuff out and then Instagram be like, mm. I don't feel like letting anybody see that. And then I'm like stuck to, then, then it leads me to believe that, okay, people aren't interested in this kind of content, but then people will ask me for the content. So it's like, okay, Instagram's not serving people the content that they claim that they want to see. But I'm just like, look, let me take my pictures, my cute pictures, and then I could make carousel posts and maybe um, sneak in some like skincare stuff in between. I, I, I really don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Anyway, <laughs> yo, I need a root canal. And they can't see me until November 12th. I'm about to go see if I can find a dentist near my, I need to find a dentist near my house. This is actually the dentist that I've gone to since I, well, not since I was a kid, but for a very, very long time. And I like them because, you know, black people, I like to have, you know, most if not all my professionals be black. But um, yeah, I think everybody else got the same idea because they always be having mad <laughs> people in there. So I'm like, oh man. And I'm gonna have to find something not a movie or um, a show closer to my house and somebody that can get me real quick because I, I, don't, I don't I don't be using the right words to describe stuff with dental because I don't know what the hell I'm talking about but the covering for the tooth came off or whatever so it's a little exposed and because it's been exposed I guess you know that makes sense that I would need a root canal but I don't want to I don't want to wait till November 12th I barely made it this week so I'm gonna see if I can I think there's a dental office right across the street from my house Ooh! Wee. So I'm gonna see if some somebody gotta be able to take me right away. But then I'm like, do you get, do you just go to a new dentist and get a root canal? Like, <laughs> how does that even work? <laughs> Did I show y'all her? <laughs> anyway, I just finished filming and I think I'm off to go. Well, I wanna go to Target, but it smells like something's burning. And I'm like, should I take Cat Williams with me to Target? <laughs> Cause I'm like, and then I looked, it looks like somebody's out on the grill. Like how you grilling in October at 6.48? <laughs> I guess somebody really wanted them some burgers or something. But um, yeah, I, I don't know, I just have this, I'm strange. <laughs> Cause I be like, oh my God, is something gonna, is something gonna happen? You know, sometimes, anyway, let me go to damn Target. All right, we are on our way to Target. It is 7.25. And you know what? I really hope they have some cute stuff in there. Cause I, I don't even know what Target is giving. Cause although I shop at Target weekly, I don't be in Target shopping weekly, which is a good thing. Cause it keeps me um buying a whole bunch of shit, you know? I had to put this on cause while my hair was coming out of the ponytail, like puffing out the side like a open can of biscuits while I was filming. And I was like, ah, don't be doing me. Yo, as soon as I walked in Target, I was like, I'm so tired. How the hell am I trying on any clothes? Because I'm so freaking tired. Y'all, it was a bust anyway, because I ain't had no damn clothes. Everything was like the Wild Fable, which is a Junior's collection, which, you know, yeah, but also no. <laughs> and then that um, Future Collective, which I remember came out like what, last month, a month and a half ago. And they had a few random pieces, but I was like, that don't make sense to look at because if it's not online, people can't get it. However, I did not come here in vain because dun, 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 I found a punch bowl and ladle and this one is actually a pumpkin but also since it doesn't have like a jack-o-lantern thing on it like I could use this for another party but the funny thing about this I saw this online I was like oh my god that would have been perfect because this is like what ten dollars but they didn't have it at the store that delivers to me and they didn't have it as an option to ship and I was just randomly like well ain't nothing in Target let me go to the home section and see if they have a punch bowl and they had that they only had two left and I got one so there's only one left so at least that worked out and then i got this um i'm hoping this is gonna work for what i need it to work for hold on yo this damn seatbelt, yo okay there we go all right so i also got this turntable thing because i want to do dry ice but i you know i don't want to put the dry ice in the punch so i'm gonna put the dry ice here and then put this on top so that you know the dry ice 
comes up that way. And I'm hoping it's deep enough. It should be. I could probably ask the, um, the dry people to make small chunks so that it could fit in there without any issue. <laughs> the diaries are here. I don't know why I'm deciding like right now is the time to tell you about it. You know, you could write in what you're using in your skincare routine and how your skin is feeling. Um, and this is something that you can just take with you to your uh, pro appointment, your derm, your esthetician, so that when they're like, okay, what are you using on your skin? How's your skin, blah, 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 blah. Instead of having to rack your brain, it's like right there. And even if you don't see a pro, it's good to write down, you know, what you're using in your skin routine, how your skin is uh, reacting to it, because then it helps you be able to figure out, okay, maybe I shouldn't be using this, or shouldn't use that that often, or shouldn't use this with this, and it's feelable. I'm sorry. It's available now on Amazon. So the diaries, oh, I'm out of breath. The diaries are printed to order. So they're available on Prime. I was just looking at it just now. And for, if I were to order it, it said um, Prime shipping, but it needed three days. So it needed some time to print it. I'm not in a position yet to have a whole bunch of them, <laughs> you know, available just, you know, just to have it available. But maybe, but maybe one day. And I like this because it's a lot easier to you know have a product out there without a huge uh, commitment for me up front you know and then i also filmed a video last night where i talked about it on the skincare channel so uh, that'll be very interesting to see oh, and a little nerve-wracking oh also that sunscreen that i was telling y'all about before oddly enough doesn't have iron oxides in it i was looking at the ingredients last night and i was like oh and i was like so how is it tinted but still a, a damn good sunscreen though i like it good job hyper skin Just woke up from a nap. I need to find me a suitable, cute outfit that will work for being on a train, but it's also cute enough to be like at an after work spot. So we shall see. <laughs> oh, I think I just saw something. And then the weather dropped, so I gotta be able to, you know, wear a coat. I'm ready to break out this free, free people jacket. Oh, this isn't free people, this is anthro. This looks so like bright red on camera. I cut tags off at the very last minute because I need to make sure that I'm keeping <laughs> that I'm keeping the item. But I think I like this. Yes, we are keeping it. Alright, I need to go. I am off to an after work spot that I'm hoping is very fun because my friend Vanessa wanted to go dancing. So, oh, I need to bring my glasses. Well, I should be fine. All right, y'all. Peace. I could go dancing. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Damn, that curry chicken is smelling right. I didn't even cook it yet. Just smelling the curry. I don't know who told me that I could go dancing uh, the same day that I did legs at the gym. Wait, did I do legs today? Oh, did I do arms? I don't even remember, but it feels like I did legs today. That was fun. We went, <clears throat> we went to um, Katra. And the funny thing is, oh, on Yelp it had bad reviews. The food pictures was looking all whack, but the food was good. Their drinks were superbly watered down until I got to the last round and that had some alcohol in it, but it was a little too much alcohol, so I couldn't even finish it. But not bad. Um, I got reminded of how back in the day, you know, being dark skinned in the club meant that, you know, dudes, was damn near pushing you to the side so they could get to your light skin friends. And that used to bother me as a young Danielle in her 20s. Danielle in her 40s realizes that it's the men that have the issue <clears throat> and they corny for that. And it's so funny because this guy was like obsessing over my friend. 
and <laughs> to the point where he was like, we were taking pictures of each other, me and me and Vanessa, and then he was like, oh, I'll take it or whatever. And I asked him to use her flashlight as a light, and he's like arguing with me, and Vanessa's like, uh, not too much, not not too much. So, you know, that was a nice full circle moment, understanding how lame some of these men are and how, you know, it don't take much for your friends to stick up for you. But at the same time, these men are crazy. So, <laughs> oh, Lordy, Lordy, Lord. <laughs> we, got, we got Jasmine helping Daddy. Jasmine <laughs> with these contact lenses. Okay. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> last night we went after um, Yasmin's showcase, or whole case as I was calling it. <laughs> we went to this restaurant um, not too far from it in Garden City. What was the name of that restaurant? And you know what's. <laughs> <laughs> so let me tell you something. I usually have really good Yelp karma, right? And I feel like Yelp never sees me wrong. Once I look at, you know, I look for high reviews, high number of reviews and a high review score. And then of course I look at the pictures because I'm like, people could have like high reviews, good reviews on food that I'm not even interested in. So this place looked, this place looked pretty decent. It, I, it wasn't the first choice I, I had seen. Um, The first choice I had seen was gonna be closed by the time we got out of the showcase. And we got out of the showcase at like 8.45, so I'm like, it's this part of Long Island. I think that's Mineola, where things just close super, super early. I'm not used to that. So this is our second choice. So the food was so damn good. However, you ever go someplace and you get the kind of vibe like, oh, they don't like blacks. <laughs> and I hadn't noticed it at first when I walked in, when we all walked in, but then uh, I think Yasmin was the one that was like, I'm getting get out vibes. But they were saying it because they were like, we're the only black people in here. And I'm like, there's so many cir circumstances where you can be the only black person and it not be like get out vibes. But then like, <laughs> No, I can't. Like I can't call it. I guess you guys could uh, could tell me what you what you would think in this situation. So I can't have dairy, and so they had this flatbread that when the the, the um because we had to sit at the bar at first because they didn't have any uh, tables. And the bartender, the way he described this flatbread, it sounded amazing, except it had mozzarella on it. So I was like, is it possible to get half of it without the cheese? So he, I guess he went to go ask the manager or whoever I guess was in charge of the food, or I'm pretty sure it was the manager, or the owner. And then he kind of was like like thinking about it and then he was like ah, i guess we can do it right and so i was like, like i was about to start putting on my charm with um with him because usually when people be trying to like tell me no i'll be like come on you want to say yes but i'm not quite sure if it was like get out vibes or like the menus the menu vibe you know what i'm saying <laughs> so the food was so good like so good. Um, but but before the food came out, a table had cleared up, and so we asked the bartender if we could please go sit at a table, because it just would have been easier. Because it was th if it was two of us, it would be a different story. But there's three of us, and it's kind of hard to if you're sitting like this. It's you know it's kind of hard to socialize and eat at the same time. So I don't know. It seemed like the it didn't seem like a big deal, but it seemed like I don't know if maybe the bartender was like he would lose the whatever credit or whatever. I don't know. This is one of these funny situations where. It's it's like, cause you know, I'm not one of them people to be like, oh no, there's no racism. Like, hell yeah, there's some racism, but I'm not sure. And I hope I'm not excusing racism cause the food was good. I'm, I'm laughing, but this is not, well, it is kind of funny. I don't know. We did see one black guy sitting at the bar when we were leaving. I don't know. I, I can't call it. And the thing is, it's like the food was so good that I would love to go back, but I don't want to give racist people my money. You see how, like, stupid racism is? 
<laughs> like, petty me but as a joke would be like, oh, let me send a whole bunch of black people their way just so they can be like, oh my God, the blacks. But also like, no, cause I'm not giving you that money. Like, come on, you know what I mean? So anyway, I am off to Target. I did not want to leave the house today at all. I wanted this to be my lounge, lounge, lounge day. However, here I am going to get spider webs because I thought that the buffalo snow that I had that looks very, very similar to spider webs. I have two big old containers of it. I thought that would have been okay to use as spider webs, but you know how spider webs stretch out? The buffalo snow doesn't stretch out. So now I'm here buying, <laughs> going to pick up some spider webs. Thankfully they had it and thankfully it's not you know too far from the house but i was still was not trying to leave the house anyway also i was trying to look at my the beginning of this vlog to see if i met whatever goals i said at the beginning of the week but i don't think i really established any goals at the beginning of this video so now i'm looking at my video that i posted on instagram and i think it was mostly to clear out my office which i did do but was there another goal here let's see all right This might have been the last two they had. I don't know. I ain't really check their inventory. Oh, this is perfect. Cause this I can pull apart. And if it's not enough, we gonna make it enough. <laughs> I think I might still have more of it. There's like a there's like um cloth spider webs. I still may have a little more of that. And I really hope I might not have my I might not, I may no longer have my um spider web tablecloth because I think something spilled on it. I can't remember. Let me see if they got a spider web <laughs> tablecloth. Oh, they do. A table runner. Oh, it looks so short. Like, I don't know if it's folded in half there, but that looks short as hell. I'm gonna look through my um, I don't remember seeing this in my Halloween storage thing. Oh, this is probably more of what I need. Yeah, not. I do prefer the runner, but that's also cute. Damn, the freaking Target that I just ordered stuff from has it in stock. That I ordered stuff to have delivered to my house. Oh wait, it looks very... Never mind. I thought it was like lace. I could always find something off of Amazon, so I ain't gotta be running around, ripping and running. All right, y'all, so I have some questions for y'all because I do want to do, you know, develop this channel a little bit more aside from vlogs, or at least I think that's what I want to do. But what kind of, like, I feel like I already know what you guys like to see, but I'm not like 100% sure because I've noticed that the, um, this damn seatbelt, yo. <laughs> I've noticed that the, the uh, views on the vlogs have um, gone down uh, a little bit. Now, see, the thing is, it's not even by a lot. Like if I, like if the views went down, average views went down by like 200 views on either my fashion or my skincare channel, it'd be like, eh, okay. <laughs> but this channel is so small already. So let me know what kind of stuff you like to see me talk about and whatnot here up on this channel. I feel like the last vlog resonated well in terms of comments because um, it seemed as if you guys like, you know, you're into my personality. Thank you very much. I love that you are into my personality because I'm into my personality. And like when people aren't into me, I'm like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. Um, but yeah, I feel like you guys like my energy, but I think what you liked was how my energy reverberated off of other people because that vlog, like, you know, I was at the, the, the YouTube thing in LA and you know, there were more people involved. I can't always guarantee that there will be other people involved in my vlogs, but I'm trying to do this goal thing because then I felt like, you know, like we could grow the channel, like maybe if people with like similar goals, you know, could come, you know, come join in or whatever. But I'd be forgetting what the damn goal was that I set in the beginning of the week that I told y'all what the goal was. So, <laughs> all right, I need to get my car service this week because the daytime running light is out, which I could just take that anywhere and, and get that fixed. Ooh, 
Got to put the GPS on. But um, I also do need to get the tire system looked at. So I am going to just take this in. I'm like, hmm, while I'm down here, do I need anything else? Anyway, y'all, one goal that I really want to, you know, get at is being able to be calm, cool, and collected. Like, not rushing, you know, being on time, being early, not feeling I have to, like, feeling like I have to rush, not feeling like I'm constantly having to work, you know? Um, But I will talk to you about goals hopefully next vlog. See ya. Bye.